Chanda by Shagun. In today's video, we are going to continue with our chapter which is Life Processes in Animals. So, let's begin. Do all animals digest food the same way as humans do? No, not at all. Ruminants like cows and buffaloes swallow grass for partial digestion. They regurgitate it as cud. The, the, this, this is called as cud. Chew it thoroughly up to 8 hours. Then swallow again for the complete digestion. The stomach of the ruminants like cows and buffaloes are divided into 4 chambers. What are those chambers? Those are human, reticulum, omasm and abomasm. So let's talk about the birds. Birds lack teeth. Birds do not have teeth. And instead, they grind food. In a muscular chamber called gizzard, the birds have a muscular chamber which is called as gizzard, which uses a rhythmic contraction and ingested grit. This is called as small stones to mechanically break down the, their food. This shows that animals exhibit Variation in the structure and function of the elementary canal to adapt the different ways of the digesting different in the kinds of food. So, what we learned that these birds, they eat small stones. Respiration in animals. We breathe in, we inhalation process and breathe out, exhalation. Air continuously to obtain oxygen and release carbon dioxide. The process of inhaling and exhaling air is called as breathing. Our body also has a specific system for the breathing and the respiration. This is called as respiratory system. Respiratory system. The respiratory system begins with a pair of nasal opening called nostrils through which we inhale and exhale air. Respiratory system, the inhaled air, the oxygen passes into a pair of small passages called as nasal passages. As we can see in the picture given, these are the nasal passages. Do you know? Have you noticed tiny hairs inside your nostrils? These hairs along with the mucus help trap the dust and the dirt particles from the air we breathe in. Basically, they filter the air from the dust and the dirt. This is why we should breathe through the nose and not through the mouth. Because mouth do not consist the mucus which traps the dirt particles. Now let's talk about inhalation process. When we breathe in inhalation, our chest expands. As the ribs move up and outwards, the diaphragm, a dome-shaped muscular organ below the lungs, moves downwards during this inhalation process. This increases the space inside the chest as it expands and air enters the lungs. Now let's talk about exhalation, vice versa. When you breathe out exhalation process, the ribs move down and inwards. The, and the diaphragm moves upwards. It relaxes, reducing the space and pushing air out of the lungs. How does the exchange of gases happen? So now let's talk about this part. When we breathe in the fresh air, enters our lungs and fills the tiny sacs. These tiny sacs are called as alveoli. These alveoli have thin walls and are surrounded by small blood vessels. The blood brings carbon dioxide from the body to the alveoli, the sacs, where it is released into the air. At the same time, Oxygen from the air in the alveoli enters the blood and it carried to all the parts of the body. Equation 
of the process of respiration. Now let's talk about the equation. So glucose plus oxygen. This is the equation. Glucose plus oxygen. It is as carbon dioxide plus water is equal to the energy. Plus the energy. Do other animals breathe the same way as humans do? The same question arrives. Birds, elephants, lions, cows, goats, lizards and snakes breathe through the lungs. Fish breathe through gills. They have gills, not the lungs. Gills take the oxygen from the water. Frogs are amphibians, both land and water they live. Breathe through the gills as babies. When they are tadpoles, the babies, they breathe through the gills. And later, use lungs on land. Adult frog, they use lungs on the land. And skin in the water. So when they are babies, they use gills, the tadpoles. Later, when adult frogs, they, they use lungs on the land. And in water, they use their skin. Our forms breathe through their moist skin. Now let's talk about the circulatory system. Our body has special system to carry nutrients and nutrients, oxygen and other things to all the parts. This is called as the circulatory system. It has the main organs of the circulatory system, our heart, blood and the blood vessel. The heart works like a pump to push the blood through the blood vessel. The blood carries nutrients and oxygen to the body and also takes away the waste materials. This is the circulatory system as you can see. Now let's summarize what we have learned in today's video. Grass eating animals such as cows, the herbivores, cows and goats are called as ruminants. They chew the food partially and swallow it. They swallow it. Later, the partial digested food is returned, the mouth, the bubble cavity and the animals choose it thoroughly. Breathing involves the movement of air into the lungs, the inhalation and out of the lungs, the exhalation process. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide occurs in the alveoli, the sacs like structure of the lungs. Respiration. Respiration uses oxygen from the inhaled air to break down the glucose into carbon dioxide and water. The process by which the nutrients are converted into usable energy is called as respiration process. The circulatory system transports nutrients and oxygen to all the parts of the body. It includes the major organs, heart, which pumps the blood through the blood vessels, Delivering the oxygen and nutrients while also removing the waste from the body. Breathing is a physical process while respiration is a biochemical process. Different animals have different breathing mechanisms adapted to, to suit their habitats. Like fish have gills, cows, lungs, like that. In the next upcoming chapter, we are going to discuss about acidic, basic and neutral. I hope you like my today's video. Till then, take care and bye bye. What well, I call as trachea. From the nasal passages, the air reaches our